Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Simon the Cat Show. And I'm JJ, and this is Simon, also known as Backpacking Kitty. And if you guys have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe right here, or follow us if you're on Instagram, and make sure to thumbs up the video or like it. As always, put a question down in the comments so that we can include it on future episodes of this show or other show that me and Simon are doing. So today, the question that we got asked was, do cats have souls? So I'm gonna ask Simon this question first because I feel like Simon should answer this. Simon, hey buddy, I wanna ask you a question, okay? Can you look at me, please? Look at me. Look right up here, right in my eyes. Do you have a soul? Well, I'm pretty sure there's something in there, because if he doesn't have a soul, my question to you all would be, what is running this beautiful biological machine? Simon, are you just a furball? Is that all you are? Just a robotic furball? He's too beautiful not to have a soul. So the way that I'm gonna answer this question is it's not something necessarily you can prove. I mean, unless you have a way to prove that people have souls themselves, how can you even prove that animals, specifically cats, have souls? I will say this. You know, before I got Simon, as I mentioned in a previous episode, I actually believed that Simon was my garden angel and still is my garden angel. And a garden angel to me is some being that is with you from the day that you're born. And maybe it's that voice in your head or that invisible friend or that aberration that you might see from time to time. It's, it's that feeling that something is guiding you. Something is helping you along the way in this journey of life. And before I got Simon, I felt that I had a garden angel and my garden angel's name was Simon. And when I got Simon, I knew pretty much instantly that my garden angel was Simon. Now Simon, hey buddy, I want you to sit down, okay? I want you to sit down. I really need you to sit, because it's important that you sit. Why? Looking at Simon, he might look like a normal cat. I mean, he's definitely stunning. Aren't you? You're a very stunning cat, aren't you? I think he even deserves a treat. Do we have a treat for him? I'm gonna get Simon a treat. I'm gonna show you guys that Simon has a soul. I mean, how can I prove this? Well, I can just show you that this cat is quite intelligent and he has something more than a glimmer. Ain't that right? Okay, we got some treats for you. Baby, I want you to kiss me, okay? Look what I got here. I'm gonna give you a treat. I'm luring, I'm luring him in with the treat here. Kiss me right here. Is that all you got? What about, what about a little paw? Come here, paw. That is so nice. Could a cat without a soul be able to give you a paw like that? I don't know. I would question that. I mean, is it just his brain that's telling him to shake my hand? Is it just his primitive brain, his pineal gland inside of his pine cone head that's saying to him, I'm going to do a trick for a treat. Kiss me here. What am I here? Kiss me. That's kind of a kiss. Oh. Huh. 
And if you were to look inside of your cat's eyes and look really, really deeply inside your cat's eyes, I'm pretty sure that after a while, you could see that there's more in your cat than just this biological, hey, come back. I mean, cats do what they want to do, right? Simon leaves when he wants to leave. So the ultimate question is, do cats have souls? Does this little kitty here have a soul? And I want you guys to just take a moment. We're gonna, we're gonna zoom in to Simon's eyes here. Zoom in to this beautiful cat here. And we're gonna really take a moment here to see if he has a soul, okay? Look right into his eyes. Get very close into his eyes. As close as we can, we're going to see if we can see Simon's soul. Simon, you're getting sleepy. You're getting sleepy. So we're going closely into his eyes. And I'm curious if all of you out there, if you might be able to see Simon Soul. Now, if cats in fact have a soul, then that would mean that maybe perhaps they have an afterlife. Whether you believe in heaven or believe in some other form of afterlife, if cats have a soul, that means they have an afterlife as well which means there's probably a good chance that a cat could even reincarnate into something else in the next life. Whether it be another animal, another cat, or maybe a human. Have you guys ever felt that your cat might be your soulmate? I mean, if you believe that your cat's your soulmate, then that would mean that your cat has a soul because if in order for your cat to be your soulmate, that means your souls are connected. But if your cat doesn't have a soul, then how can your cat be connected to your soul because your cat doesn't have a soul? So, and then that goes also with cats going to heaven. How can a cat go to heaven if a cat doesn't have a soul? And how can a cat reincarnate if a cat doesn't have a soul? So these are all really important questions because without a cat's soul, you just can't answer the rest of them. They can't, they can't exist. So we're going to assume that cats do have souls so that cats can be your soulmate. So cats can be your soul partner. So cats can have an afterlife. And so cats can reincarnate. That's what we're going to assume for today. But if you look at Simon, look how calm he is here. And I just, I just can't believe that a cat without a soul could be so gentle and soft and giving and kind. But maybe you guys have another thought. I, I want to know your guys' theories out there. Do you guys believe that cats have souls? And if you do believe that cats have souls, do you believe that your cat is your soulmate? Or do you believe that your cat reincarnated? Maybe you had another relative and they died and now your cat is your relative. I want to hear all of you guys' interesting stories because I always find the whole topic in relation to cats and souls being a really, really interesting one. And I think this is a good question to kind of extend to all of you guys out there and really dive into it. Like what happens after you die? Do you become another animal? I think Buddhists believe that um, you know we're all connected to nature, and that after um, after we die, we we can go into the earth and become another tree, or um, you know become another living being. So I think um, I think I think it's a Buddhist thing. If, correct me if I'm wrong or if I'm right. Um, but I do believe that, uh, I think Buddhists believe that there's spirits and everything. I be personally believe that there's spirits and everything. That's why for me, nature is so important. And I like to spend a lot of time in nature. Simon loves nature as well. And there's a lot of life to nature. 
And um, you know, I believe uh, that everything has spirits, including cats. And spirit is just another word for a soul. So that's my opinion. And I wanna know your guys' opinion. And let, put in the comments below what you guys would like to see on a future episode. We're having fun here, aren't we? Aren't we zooming? You're just lounging around. Can we get a zoom in on your eyes? You're just so pretty. You're so pretty. I'm gonna give him another little treat because he's just such a good kitty. And you know, when you're this good of a cat, you get all the treats you want. Ain't that right? You're in kitty heaven. You're in kitty heaven. Yeah, that is, you're such a good boy. So good, so, so good. You wanna go? Well guys, this has been another interesting episode of the Simon the Cat Show. If you guys have not already, subscribe or follow us on Instagram. Make sure to thumbs up this video or like it on IGTV. And Simon, it's time for us to go. Goodbye.